Hi, my name is Pete Briscoe, and along with my good friend Todd Hillard, we have written a book called The Surge. And the content of The Surge is best summarized in a statement that one of my elders prayed recently. We were having a time of prayer, and he just prayed, Lord God, thank you for the privilege of giving your love away. And as I heard it, I thought, what a beautiful description of the church. We are a body of believers with the privilege of giving his love away. I received my call to ministry um, in the Philippines in a small town when I was on a short-term mission trip when I was in college. And I met a young pastor and I was mesmerized with his heart for his people, his shepherd's heart for his people. And I remember lying on my bamboo mat in a little hut one night thinking, boy, if that's what it means to be a pastor, I think that's what God wants me to be. And I went home and I talked to my dad and I said, Dad, I think God's calling me into ministry. And he said, well, then, Peter, you have two choices. I said, I do. He said, yes. I said, what are they? He said, you can either be a missionary or you can be a mission-minded pastor. A missionary or a mission-minded pastor. And I've read through scripture a lot since that conversation years ago, and I haven't found anything to refute his claim that we really have two choices. We can either go or we can be leading a church that sends and that is involved in what God's doing in the world. In Genesis chapter 12, there's an amazing description of how God blessed a specific man for a specific purpose. The Lord said to Abram, leave your country, your people, and your father's household, and go to the land I will show you, and I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. But he blessed him for a reason, and all the peoples of the earth will be blessed through you, Abraham was blessed to be a blessing. God blessed him more than any man he'd ever blessed before for a very specific reason, so that the rest of the world might be blessed through him. My friends, I'm convinced that the Western church has been blessed by God beyond comprehension, unlike any church in history. And I'm absolutely convinced he's blessed us for the same reason, so that we might be a blessing to the nations. And all you have to do is start reading in Genesis 1, 1, all the way through the end of Revelation to know that God's heart and passion is for the nations. I heard Bill Hybels talking once and he talked, uh, he asked the question, what comes before a vision? And his answer was sanctified discontentment, which is this Holy Spirit angst that something is not right. And then the vision is your solution to that problem. Well, I sense a sanctified discontentment in my heart for the Western church. And that is that we've forgotten the world. We've forgotten our brothers and sisters in third world countries who are in desperate need of our resources and our expertise and our prayer support and encouragement, our involvement in their lives. The book, The Surge, is a call for you, for me, for our churches to jump into the surge, which is God's passionate movement of his spirit in the world. And believe me, folks, it is going on. It is going on. The imagery of the surge to me comes from a day um, a number of years ago that my family and I enjoyed in northern Wisconsin and we were walking through the woods and we were going inner tubing in a river and this river has been flowing the Wisconsin River for centuries and we got to this little peninsula and we had the choice of jumping in the cold rough water or standing and watching we could just watch the river go by we could watch other people go down the river or we could jump into the surge of water in front of us Every one of my family members chose to jump in and the water was cold and it was rough and it was a little risky, but you know what? It was an amazing adventure. It was the adventure God had for us that day. And the imagery for me is that God is at work in the world and he is calling the Western church to jump into the surge that he has created. And this book is a call for you to join in that surge. Our mission statement here at Bentry is that Bentry exists to be used by God as he transforms people into disciples of Jesus Christ here and around the world. It's part of our mission statement because it's part of the church's mission. And so this call, this book, is to call you to join us in the surge. It gets real practical. I tell tons of stories about the journey that he's had us on. I hope you'll read it, and I hope it'll be a tremendous blessing to you. God bless.